So guys, finally the new BMW 5 series is here in India. Well, it's not launched yet. This is a pre-launch preview that we are having, but it's official. After a lot of speculation, the 5 series in India is going the long wheelbase way. Now the 3 series and the 7 series are already there in the long wheelbase versions. And finally, the 5 makes its way through. Now, of course, it's going to be interesting how it is priced and how it takes on the E-Class long wheelbase in the long term. But for today, let's talk about the design first. Now, when you look at this car up front, you can see it's an all new design. One highlight, of course, is this illuminated kidney grill. I'm sure a lot of people are going to love the way this backlit grill looks. Of course, with all these metallic accents and the sharp contours and cuts that you see on the bumper and all across the front, it is a proper 5 Series design. The 5 Series has always been a car that has been known for you know, combining the sportiness of a 3 and the luxury of a 7 and this does that. Now, even when you look, take a look at the hood, you'll see these very sharp looking contours. All of it give it a nice, dynamic, robust profile. And of course, this being the long wheelbase version, it's a pretty massive car. It's more than 5 meters in length. And when you look at it from the side, you'll see it's got this long bonnet, something you would want to see in a proper three-box sedan. And when you move towards the back, again, you've got nice, strong character lines all along the sidelines. Of course, when you go towards the rear, which is the back, well, that is where the difference comes because unlike a three-box design, this one gets a slot of a coupe. It's a design which is a between a coupe and a sort of a three box but somewhere in between you can say probably BMW says it's a 2.5 box and it looks that way uh, of course unlike the older five this one looks a little mellowed down so it's not that sporty it looks more of a business sedan it looks more of a luxury vehicle than a sports sedan like the older five used to look at the rear again you've got these very sharp looking tail lamps and these go along well with the headlamps. And when you add to it the fact that the second vehicle in BMW India's lineup to have tubeless tires. Yes, this car doesn't come with the run flat tires, but with tubeless tires. And that's why you see, despite the 18 inch wheels, there is a higher aspect ratio for the tires. Well, uh, I wouldn't say it's the best choice when it comes to a car that needs to look sporty, but I'm sure when the car is launched you will have more options in terms of choosing a larger maybe a 19 inch wheel or probably a 20 inch one but as of now the alloy wheel looks good and when you add all of the things together what you get is a car that looks rich it looks premium it has a commanding presence on the road and at the same time it looks very modern and futuristic something that the five has always tried to do and this one once again has successfully achieved it now, for a car that is aimed at chauffeur-driven people or people with families, well, you would expect it to have a large boot and the new 5 Series does. Well, at about 500 litres of boot capacity, this is a massive boot. You can stuff a lot of baggage and luggage inside this. So, yes, it's also very cleanly designed, so not um, any kind of a clutter in terms of design. It's like a straight compartment which will allow you to store a lot of bags. And uh, when you lift this up, well, you can see you have a space saver tire because like I said earlier, this BMW doesn't come in run flat tires, it comes with tubeless tires. So you have a spare wheel, which is a space saver. So yes, in terms of practicality, I think the 5 Series has now moved up uh, a bit from the older generation because with these tubeless tires, on-road maintenance and instant repair should be easier. Also, you now have the mental luxury of or the mental comfort of thinking that you do have a fifth wheel, a spare one, just in case something goes wrong. Now, let's talk about the cabin. Now, when you step inside the cabin of the new 5 Series, it feels like an all new car. Yes, you will see a lot of inspiration from the 7 Series and that's a good thing. Hey, you're taking inspiration from the flagship model. So yes, you see that, but beyond that, the 5 has its original uh, design all throughout. You look at the softest dashboard up here, then the center part where this really looks neat. These are really like glowing pieces, but as you see, the air vents have been integrated in a very smart way, which makes them almost invisible. 
to the naked eye so unless you're searching for the air vent you're not going to see it similar treatment in the center and on this side as well overall i think it's a great looking interior well it comes with a lot of features you've got this dual screen and of course uh, you know some changes have been made for india so the apps that indian drivers and customers use the most such as navigation music they have been uh, placed or given priority in the ui beyond that in terms of space again a lot of space the seats are nice and cushioned comfy all of this touch panel you know these backlit touch panels instead of having physical buttons everything has gone to these touch panels and it looks really cool and futuristic also instead of the regular cut sunroof which you had with the older G30 5 series now you get a panoramic sunroof which the company says is 90% larger in terms of area so yes for all of you panoramic sunroof lovers out there again a great option also in um, terms of the overall steering feel in overall uh, comfort if i look at it again the 5 is just brilliant these cushions the way you get a very nice driving position it all hints towards a car that should be great fun to drive but is it well we'll get to know once we move out but for now let's check the most important yeah. rear seat because most of the buyers bmw india says for this new 5 series long wheel base are going to be back there so let's check it out and now in the back seat of the new 5 series long wheel base and instantly the first thing you realize is it's very spacious when you compare it to the older 5 series and you got lots of space of course because the wheel base is longer also keep in mind this car is the longest car in its segment in terms of wheel base in terms of overall length in terms of width in terms of height this car has grown in every direction possible and as a result of that i have got lot of space here you can see even after stretching out my legs there is so much knee room and of course again no compromise in terms of headroom despite that sloping roof line the seats themselves wow brilliant seats the seats now in this long wheel base model offer better under thigh support which is very critical for anyone who's buying a car where he or she is going to be seated in the back seat for a long time the contours in the seat the side support even these headrests all of it is pretty much spot on in terms of comfort you just cannot expect something better it's that good things look great overall in terms of feel even this music system you look at the speakers bowers and wilkin it looks very nice all the design elements you've got uh, ambient lighting again the feeling of open air and airy cabin because of this panoramic sunroof and uh, yeah i mean it's a great place to be in if you want a car that you're going to be chauffeur driven in but at the same time being a five you should be able to drive it and have some fun too